टूडे वी वी डिस्कस द प्रेसराइज वाटर रिएक्टर एंड दैट इज जनरली नोन एज पी डब्ल्यू आर इट यूज इज इनरिच यूरेनियम एज फ्यूल दैट इज यूरेनियम ऑक्साइड यू ओ टू एंड दिस यूरेनियम ऑक्साइड इज इम्पोर्टेंट फ्यूल फ्यूल एलिमेंट इट इज ब्रिटल सीरामिक प्रोड्यूस्ड एज पाउडर एंड देन सेंटर टू फॉर्म फ्यूल पैलेट्स and it is already oxidized it is more stable than natural uranium and present less problem of oxidation and this enriched uranium is more compatible with most of the coolants and is not attacked by hydrogen helium or nitrogen uo2 does not corrode as easily as natural uranium therefore the cladding failure is not as serious cladding failure of natural uranium pwr is a light water cooled and moderated reactor basenu 1 is the first commercial nuclear station in switzerland working on pwr now with now we will discuss the main components of pwr this is the concrete sealed heat exchanger or boiler thermal sealed so here the concrete sealed the reactor is a source of intense radioactivity so to prevent the effect of these radiation on human life it is necessary to absorb them before emitting to the atmosphere neutrons gamma rays and all other radiations are effectively absorbed by the concrete and sealed the thermal sealed is cooled by circulation of water this is reactor core the reactor vessel encloses the reactor core reflector and sealed and these are the fuels and moderator as we discussed the fuel is uranium oxide uo2 that is enriched uranium and moderator is a material which reduces the kinetic energy of fast neutron to slow neutron and this is done in a fraction of second the function of moderator is to increase the probability of reaction and uh, here water is generally used as moderator reflector and coolant and uh, what is the main function of reflector it is always necessary to conserve the neutron as much as possible in order to reduce the conjunction of fragile material and to keep the size of reactor small the neutron which are released in fission process can be absorbed by fuel itself moderator coolant or structure material but some neutrons may escape from core without absorption and will be lost forever so to reduce the loss of escape the reactor inner surface is surrounded by a material which reflect the escaping neutron back into the core so this material is called reflector so here moderator coolant reflector that is water is used and as a coolant the main purpose of coolant in reactor is to transfer the heat produced inside the reactor and the same heat carried by coolant is used in heat exchanger for further utilization in power generation so this is uh, the pipe connection we can say how we can connect the reactor core with heat exchanger and this is pressure equalizer heater so this pressurizing tank included in the circuit maintains the constant pressure in the circuit throughout the load range and electric heating coil in the pressurized boils the water to form the steam which is collected in the dome and pressurize the entire coolant circuit before starting the reactor and this is the circulating pump which is used to circulate the water from heat exchanger or boiler to reactor core it is the condenser used to condense the st steam this is turbine and generator arrangement and these are the connectivity heat exchanger of turbine condenser and feed pump now we discuss the working of pwr so with the help of arrow we can see
how water travel in the primary circuit and how steam travel in secondary circuit so water in the primary circuit gets heated by absorbing the fission energy in the reactor core and same energy is given in heat exchanger to generate the steam and water coming out of the heat exchanger is circulated by the pump that is circulating pump to maintain the pressure in the circuit in the range of 100 to 130 bar and the water becomes radioactive in passing through the reactor therefore the entire circuit including steam generator heat exchanger must be shielded to protect the operating portion the radioactive coolant does not make the steam radioactive in the boiler so this how we now we can see how the total working of pwr how water gets the heat from the reactor core from the enriched uranium and how it become uh, how it delivered its heat to the heat exchanger and in in heat exchanger the steam is passing through the turbine it runs the turbine and turbine shaft connect that is coupled to the generator and generator produces the electricity so this is the whole working of pwr here are some advantages and disadvantages of pwr advantages of pwr the water which is used as coolant moderator and reflector is cheap in first cost and available in plenty the reactor is compact and higher power density that is 65 kilowatt per liter is the most distinguished feature of modern pwr core fuel loading of 190 tons can be made in modern pwr it provides complete freedom to inspect and maintain the turbine feed heaters and condenser during operation next one is the desirable characteristics of modern pwr are requirements of small number of control rods the reactivity changes associated with fuel depletion and formation of fission products are compensated by neutron absorber and hardly less than 60 control rods are required in 1000 megawatt plant of this type pwr allows to reduce the fuel cost extracting more energy per unit weight of fuel as pwr is ideally suited to the utilization of fuel designed for higher burns up the next one is as the enriched fuel is used the reactor can be made compact in size another desirable characteristics of this reactor is power demand coefficient that is when more power is demanded the reactor responds to supply the same the negative temperature coefficient makes this almost automatic and this positive power demand coefficient is not a characteristic of the other reactors on the other hand the power demand coefficient is negative for boiling water reactor but here is positive demand coefficient now disadvantages of pwr the first one is high primary circuit requires strong pressure vessel and so high capital cost involved the thermodynamics efficiency of this plant is as low as 20% due to low pressure 60 to 70 bar in the secondary circuit the corrosion problem is more severe as the corrosion is accelerated in the presence of high pressure high temperature water therefore use of stainless steel for vessel and cladding is necessary which further increases the cost of the plant it is necessary to shut down the reactor for fuel charging which requires a couple of months time 
fuel suffers radiation damage and therefore its reprocessing is difficulty when gamma radiation pass through the pressure vessel material the heat is released and causes uneven heating this uneven heating imposes thermal stresses in addition to the pressure stresses and makes the design difficult so today we have learnt about the pwr pressurized water reactor its main components how it works the advantages and disadvantages associated with pwr subscribe to get more updates and more video on mechanical topics n universe double 2 you may like its facebook page www.facebook.com n universe double 2 you may share among your friends and student you can ask your queries by commenting give your suggestions if required thank you have a nice day